We got a lot to do today. Are you ready for this? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay, well, see you later then. Okay. You know, I changed my mind. I'm going to give you a chance. Are you sure? Uh, no, I'm not sure. Well, then make up. Your, hurry up and make up your mind while I get the maintenance room key from Sullivan here. And after coming back after years of not playing Dead Rising 2, it took me forever to figure out how to get this stupid key. And I, <laughs> I passed by him like a couple times and I was like, oh, I'm supposed to talk to him? Oh, okay, I got this. <laughs> okay, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, from from me forgetting things. All of a sudden, you're back in because this is comedy a gold. Oh, I thought you knew this game like the back of your hand, but you don't anymore. So yeah, so he gets out the big book and thinking that I know everything about this. I know a lot of things about the first one because the first one is basically all I had to play when I got my first 360. You know, uh, if you had a problem figuring where the maintenance key was. I got a book here. I can tell you exactly where it is. <laughs> Don't patronize me. I'm just saying, you know, I got knowledge <laughs> just for you, my friend. You're, it's like you're trying to sell me, like, a, you're trying to sell me a bridge or something. <laughs> I heard you like to buy water towers, my friend. Well, do I have a deal for you? So, case one one, eh? <laughs> Let me tell you about case one one. It's one of the best cases I've ever seen. And here's why you should get it. Looks like you're gonna be making yourself uh Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Baseball bat and nails. Uh, uh how? Oh. Grab the baseball bat inside the maintenance room and place it on the workbench. <laughs> Do the same with the box of nails on the shelf, and Chuck automatically combines the two items in the spike bat com combo weapon. Now you're getting into hey, now you're getting into the swing of things. It even has it puns says in here that. for us. Yes. What fucking good? Are, what fucking good are we if there's a book already like this? Time to throw it away, man. We can't have competition. Are you kidding me? S Switch to, to just go ahead and do Case West already. I mean, they don't have a book on that. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking, it's already taking away the puns. What else do we have? I mean, we just have the gameplay and killing zombies all day. <laughs> I don't have anything. <laughs> God. <laughs> all right. Uh, there is uh, one combo item that I love making that it, it's, it's one of the best weapons you can get this early. And all of the components... One of them is just outside right here. It's actually the sledgehammer. But the other component, um, I actually passed. Oops. Because I was trying to remember how to make it. But if you can manage to find a fire axe and a sledgehammer, you get one of the best damage dealers. You get an OP weapon is what you get. Yeah, yeah no no shit. It's it's a sad thing that it, it breaks a lot, but uh, it's still an amazing weapon. I'm LaShondra, but everyone calls me Lacey. This is uh, the first example of a missable, a missable survivor. And when I say missable survivor, because this will be coming up uh, a bunch in this Let's Play. As in we'll miss her when she dies? Uh, I'm not going to miss her, are you kidding me? No, um, basically they don't have a mission attached to them. So you're getting a bunch of calls about uh, all the different missions you'll be doing throughout the game, but missable survivors are ones that don't have any missions attached to them, and they just appear in certain parts of Las Vegas. Oop. Oh, I, I think I think we should start uh, get, getting into... Oh, God. I think we should start getting into... You take that damn hand off, you weird-looking boy! <laughs> this is going to be the goof-off episode, <laughs> and you'll be able to tell. Oh, look at that. We've got, we brought them back together. Oh! <laughs> oh, and she hit me! Bitch! Don't you hit me! I'm Chuck Green! Look at my hat! I'm the guy with the sledgehammer. If you guys got problems, we can take them outside. <laughs> Why? Zombie apocalypse had to happen. We can settle this right here and now. Oh, oh yeah, they, yeah. Oh, I mean, they get eaten and they can fuck off. Oh, oh yeah. Yes! Good on uh, you, Chuck. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna go and get eaten by the zombies now. This is looking like a. <laughs> Like a pretty sound option right now, I'd say. <laughs> Are you saying Boy, that, like this? Boy, out <laughs> that's not in the guide at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you go all the way in the back of the index and it just says this outfit is the ticket to kill yourself. <laughs> just jump into a big pile <laughs> of zombies. It actually attracts zombies towards you. 
<laughs> looking at Chuck's ass and them Daisy Dukes. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, th- th- see, this is why I love Dead Rising, because you can make your character look as stupid as possible and still get the job done. And all of these outfits appear in cutscenes. That's the best part. Okay. Chuck wants to be daddy and mommy. <clears throat> Split personality daddy mommy. Norman Green. Think of all the horror movies we can make out of this. Hmm. Oh, damn it, I missed the fire axe again. All right, we'll leave back for it. <sighs> uh, this episode, we're going to be getting a lot of survivors, thankfully, and we'll also be showing off some new combo weapons. And uh, Combo we'll... weapons? Combo weapons, and then we'll actually be advancing the story. So we, we will eventually get to case one, two, but first, let's go have some fun. Hey, I'm up for fun. Let me know when it's happening. Okay. See you in 20 minutes. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Get back here. That's that, that's in game time, right? Yes. Yes, in game okay. time. Uh, let's okay. see if we can't. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, punks, you better back up. Uh, Yeah. Yeah. Go back to the Daisy Dukes. <laughs> you sure you want that? Oh, even better. Yes. All right. Now Chuck, a 42-year-old man, or 43, however old he, however old he is, <laughs> now dresses like a 22-year-old. <laughs> He's like current Tony Hawk trying to le- relive the old Tony Hawk days. He can still do a 900, you know. Well, okay, yeah, you got that. And Chuck Green can also do motocross. Oh, He can do a, ni- he can do a 900 kilometers per hour, I guess. That'll work. There we go. Actually, no, that, that's way too fast. Hold on. Never mind. <laughs> <You can't. laughs> Holy shit, Chuck! Look how fast you're going! <laughs> Let me know how New York is. Tass. When, when did he leave? Oh, five minutes ago. Now I'm going to have to actually do... I'm going to have to do some actual math and see if he were going 9,000 kilometers an hour, how long it would take him to get from New York to Las Vegas. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. As soon as you get those numbers, send them to me. Okay. And while you're working on those numbers, let's get some really easy combo weapons that are yeah. really good to deal with bosses and zombies. So you get yourself a Bowie knife, put on the boxing gloves, and you get what everybody likes to call the Wolverine claws. You get the knife gloves. You can call me Knuckles. Unlike Frank, I don't chuckle. <laughs> I'd rather strap <laughs> knives to boxing, boxing gloves, I guess. <laughs> Another really easy one is you go into the sports store where I got the boxing gloves, get the MMA gloves and a box of nails, and you can get the tenderizers. These are really quick and easy kills on zombies. So if you need a quick crowd clearing weapon, this will be the easiest one to kill them one by one. And uh, they actually get pretty good experience when you kill zombies. I mean, for something this small. Have you ever used the Wolverine claws? Uh, not really. The range seems real short. It is a little short, but I will say the damage dealt on bosses, when it actually hits them, very well worth it. Oh, there we go. So I did those numbers, and it's apparently from Las Vegas to New York. It is 3,593 kilometers an hour. So I'd say that (laughs) Chuck would get there in a little under 20 minutes or so. That's amazing! Now that's a motocross champ if I ever saw one. He could probably do some laps. Instead of gasoline, he has skooma in his engine. <laughs> What'd you get? Did you give him 900 or 9,000? 9, 9,000. Uh, yeah, he, he's making laps. He's, go- <laughs> he's going cross country. I mean, he's going... Th- you know that old joke, you want to see me run to that mountain and back? Hey, you want to see me do it again? He does that it's with good. motocross. I just did it like five times. <laughs> Dude, are you tired? He goes so fast the dust is the dust doesn't even rise behind him. <laughs> it's like it's like the old Roadrunner cartoons. <laughs> Roadrunner speeds away and it just leaves like his dust cloud in the shape of him and then he doesn't move. It's like, all right, Chuck, rev your engine and honk your horn. <laughs> meep meep. <laughs> <laughs> and then he gets hit by an Acme anvil. <laughs> Chuck, no. Short sighted. What the hell does that mean? I'm going to go talk to this bitch and figure out what short-sighted means. Oh, hey. Got a little yeah. mini game there. I'll have to test that out a bit later. 
there will be at least one episode where we do nothing but just combo weapons and little mini games you can do around here. And a lot uh. of the games, you can play them for cash. You can just play them for fun, extra experience. But uh, right now, we've got a few survivors to save because I know how much I love survivors. We're going to go save survivors, he says, as he goes into a maintenance room to make some deadly weapon, I'm sure. <laughs> well, we need some guinea pigs, don't we? Oh, here we go. <laughs> here! <laughs> here, hold my bat! <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the earliest missions you can get, and I would suggest doing it immediately. One man's trash. If you come over to this looter, talk to him, he actually opens up pawn shops all over Fortune City. So if you huh. need a quick combo weapon, you could just walk in there, give him some money, and there you go, you got a combo weapon. One of the other advantages is in the pawn shop, you can buy Zombrex. It is... Holy shit! That guy flew. Holy shit. Yeah, he did. So this guy is, uh, he's wrecking shop over here. But uh, the Zombrex in the pawn shop, something I should really make known. 25,000... <laughs> Jesus. I thought you got Chad there for a second. Uh, I it's might like, have. No, which is, please, he's, no! He's probably gonna aggro on me. Oh, there oh, I got him! Uh, oh, shit! Okay, I thought he was gonna shoot me. Uh, he did! Well, uh, oh, sorry, Chad. I, I didn't mean it. Trust me, it wasn't personal. But, uh, Zombrex. Quick and simple, in the pawn shops. Starts out at 25000 and every time you have to buy it, they add 25000 onto the price tag. So it can get very expensive very fast. Why can't you just rob them? Because we're an honest man. Thank you very much. I'm an honest man! As I plunge my bat into another innocent <laughs> zombie. Hey, look, he shot me first, alright? He's like, I'm a good person! <laughs> I really am! <laughs> <laughs> the only way to save these people was to kill them, don't you understand? I'm really a good person! <laughs> Start ripping head off, heads off. Starts drinking the blood. Just te tears off someone's head and just, ah, oh, just bathes in their life essence. It's kind of, it's kind of like the, mm. the No More Heroes uh, blood shower that happens whenever you cut an assassin's head off. It's just like, I'm singing in the rain. <laughs> singing in the rain. I was going to say, it's like combining Mortal Kombat X with the Herbal Essences commercial. <laughs> Get over here and find the new herbal essence, guys. Oh, you haven't seen those commercials, have you? Nope, I haven't. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, okay. so it looks like I've got some uh, I've got some homework to do. You know, we're great together. <laughs> but I found something new and more exciting. Huh? And it satisfies me in a way I never thought possible. Introducing Herbal Essences Fruit Fusions with an exhilarating new fruit fragrance and an exotic blend Get of organic fruit here. extracts oh. for hair that's Finish naturally up. beautiful. Come yes. Here. yes! Yes! No, no, no. New Fruit Fusions, a totally organic experience. Yes! Oh, uh, this sucks. Right here, this specific survivor. Uh, I said the AI was a lot better and I'm still holding to that, but, uh, what happens if Chad accidentally shoots her and messes up her pattern? Um. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just gonna just gonna pose here. There we go. <laughs> it works. I just saw I just saw his grumpy face in that cutout. <laughs> he just looked like grumpy dad for a second, just like mm, behave. What the yeah, fuck? So Chad, he sees a zombie. He got he has to shoot it. But the thing is, Doris keeps getting in the way of his shots, so it messes up her speech, which means she can't talk and say, thank God you found me, can you save me? He just keeps shooting her! And I couldn't figure out how to stop him. Domestic violence is never funny. <laughs> Especially with a shotgun at point-blank range! No, I love him, I swear! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sad. All right, let's This is how he cuts my hair! <laughs> He's giving me a beauty day, son! <laughs> there. I think they're all dead. Now speak. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. They're still... No, don't go look for more. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> no! <laughs> Just get your cutscene over with so I can save you. 
<laughs> there, they're all dead. <laughs> there we go. Okay, just had to kill all the zombies around Ooh. here. Jeez. All right. Hi. Hey, hey. uh, I'm sorry. That should not have taken as long, but their AI got a little screwy. Now All we can right. talk to her. There we go. Well, on the bright side, it's a smart survivor with a gun, even though she got shot in the back of the head like ten times. Well, those are oh, words God. I never thought I'd hear about a Dead Rising game. A smart survivor with a gun? You kidding me? I know. It's so weird. But these guys, even if you have them tagging along, if you stop long enough, they will actually shoot zombies around them and not the other survivors. But as soon as... What is she doing? <sighs> hey, Frank! Do you know there's zombies around here? <laughs> Frank. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> what the fuck ever? Hold on, look in your guide. Does it actually say Frank or does it say Chuck? Uh, Fact was... check me, I dare you. I was playing Life is Strange, and there was a Frank involved, so Frank okay. something. And I like Frank better, everyone does. So Yeah, I, I, I got mean, that. Come on. I will agree with you. I mean, this Frank isn't is the better. last time I'm going to call Frank, uh, Frank, I mean, I mean, yeah, <laughs> Frank. I got you, I got you. Frank, Frank, Frank for Frank. <laughs> Frank, Frank. So when's Frank going to give Frank her Frank? <laughs> Does he got to go to the Frank shop to get the Zombricks to give it to Frank? <laughs> to the Frank? So Frank, so I can Frank a Frank, and then you go Frank to Frank. I mean, that's just me being Frank, you know. <laughs> you want to go get some Franks after this? If you're, if you're going to pay with Franks. Oh, that was good. I was wondering mm -hmm. where you are going to go with that one. Right, yeah, okay. okay. It's not spelled the same way, but, you know, I'll give it to you. Frank, they don't give a damn. There we go. That's what I more expected from you. Frank you! <laughs> <laughs> she's, just, she's Frank for everything. <laughs> yes, who's Frank? Frank again. Frank again. <laughs> Frank, he's back. Fr Tell some Franks. Tell a Frank. <laughs> Tell a Frank. Tell a Frank. <laughs> Tell a Frank. Tell a Frank. Tell a Frank. Hold on, let me give him a call to my Tell a Frank. Frank, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> has this has this let's play officially devolved or are we, are we still uh, heading down the barrel here i just hope that you and i are still good franks after this <laughs> <laughs> frank you i know you already used that one but that's the only response i can think why don't of. you eat my frank <laughs> Uh, only in uh, Super Mario RPG, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, to, thanks to the name you gave it. Well, it, okay. fit, per it fit perfectly, just like, you know, never mind. <laughs> just like Frank fits in a Dead Rising game, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes, I mean, half the time he fits and half the time he just looks so out of place in his own damn game in the same place he was before. He does look different, doesn't he? doesn't look the same. It's like they Frankensteined him from a bunch of other pieces of characters. Now no one will know who I am. <laughs> it's, like, it's like he, he like, pokes his head up and he goes, I've covered wars. And then he ducks back down. And I was like, Whoa, what was that? That wasn't Frank, was it? Kinda. <laughs> and then the line continues. It's it's kind of like that Who's Line game where they can only say one phrase, and a combination of that phrase can be used in an entire scenario. So it's like, kinda, it's first part of the phrase, and he's like, I cover, I've covered wars, you know. Ooh, look, he's got he's got a Frank mask. Sorry, Franka. <laughs> Franka. <laughs> Frank Zappa was here. He's from uh, Street Franker too, right? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm I'm done. <laughs> Frank Com's best best fighting franchise. Uh, uh, yeah, so this lady right here, because this survivor takes forever. If you have something you need to get to immediately, don't come to this lady. She will talk your ear off forever. Hey, thank God there's a white button, am I right? Yeah, but I wanted to get all the dialogue because, you know, 100% run. There we go, and she's a carry survivor, which means zombies won't grapple you as much. 
So now we've got two gun-toting, like, I believe Texas people, and me holding an old lady, which means we're fine. Check it out, Katie! I got you a new grandma! (laughs) Wait, new grandma? Are you saying grandma died? Oh, yeah, she keeled over. Just like your mom, right? Oh. (laughs) Oh. But what about the other six grandmas you brought home? No, I only bring home mommies. I'm sorry. Oh. (laughs) You're going to have a great Christmas, though, let me tell you. Yeah, a great Christmas brings home a great grandma. (laughs) With a bow. Merry Christmas, Katie! Why don't you ever bring home any grandpas? I'm the only dad you'll ever need. (laughs) I've got all the knowledge, all the wisdom. You don't need anybody else except for me. You see, they're trying to paint Chuck Green as this moral figure, this uh, fucking obelisk of justice and truth and all that because you know he's he's got a child and he, he cares so much for her yeah, and exactly. all that and they paint him as a really stellar guy and you know oh he's, he's so moral and i look at him kill all these zombies with such precision and such uh <laughs> ease and i just gotta go bull fucking shit there's no way a, such an upstanding guy can kill so easily well i mean he's got to protect his daughter so he's learned the tricks of the killing trade you gotta know how to defend yourself. I mean, you give Frank a gun, he says, you know, you know how to use this? And he's like, uh, kinda, I guess. Maybe I'll figure something out. But, uh, you give Frank a gun, he's like, all right, I'm gonna go shoot some people like five times in the head. Oh, this is gonna be so fun to edit. You said Frank again. <laughs> I meant, oh, <laughs> whatever. You meant Dickhead's name. Well, whatever, just give him a new name. <sighs> Why couldn't he have been rich? So I can call him Dick. Uh, Dick Green. Oh, no. Ah, no. I don't think that works. All right, time to go uh, actually do some uh, story progression, I believe. Got some new missions that are coming up. Oh, these are some fun ones, let me tell you. Workers compensate. Welcome to the family, son. You know, I was thinking that when I recorded it. I was like, I wonder if that's where they got the phrasing for Resident Evil 7, the tagline. Because it's a good tagline. I like it. Yeah, they probably saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre or uh, Let Me In or... No, or the, Hill, the Hills Have Eyes, maybe? The Strangers! Ooh, there we go. Blood Round 4. Scattered all around Fortune City, you can actually find special movie posters, and if you look at them, you can get combo cards out of it. You know, I've seen Blood Round 4. You know, it's pretty good. It's not as good as 3, but they've gone really downhill since uh, Blood... Since, uh, I forgot what it was fucking called now. <laughs> blood Round, First Blood, Part so, 1. So... <laughs> the new blood. The new... <laughs> <laughs> blood Round, Blood Money. Colon, the bloodiest blood war blood. Featuring characters from Blood Plus. <laughs> Ooh, cash game. Okay. You're good at tapping. Go, tap A. Uh, okay, let me... Get some cash. Come on. You're getting money. Get some money. You're almost there. You almost hit the big cash prizes. Did I do it? Yeah, good job. Oh. You got some extra cash. I had a PS3 controller. I think it turned on, too. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh, turn it off. No. There we go. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. It's like you accidentally pick up the remote for like your garage door opener. I know you don't have a garage, but I still think it'd be really funny. Accidentally press the wrong button all o- all the time. Or if I had like a one of those uh... God, what are they called? Like keys on your car. You like press them and they unlock, oh, unlock yeah, your the, door. Oh yeah, the of auto lock thing. Yeah, auto locks, whatever they're called. Hit those and I hit the panic button. Beep beep boop boop. Oh d- damn it! All right. Ah ah! Did I win? Ah. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Cash Game. Now everybody knows I have a car alarm. Jeez. Uh, you, you remember how I said earlier that uh, anything you wear goes into cutscenes? Same thing happens in Dead Rising 1, but uh, look what we're wearing right now. <laughs> and, uh, no, no one's going to think weird of that at all. N- uh, nope. Absolutely not. <laughs> That's probably the best part about all this. Uh, I believe right here is story progression. Yep.
to pay attention out here, buddy. Thanks. Rebecca Chang, Channel 6 Action News. Chuck Green. Are you serious? From the security video. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Since you're sticking around, care to answer a few questions? I'm not your story, lady. I didn't have anything to do with the outbreak. Right, sure you didn't. And that tape showing you tampering with the cages was... A fake. I had nothing to do with this. My daughter and I barely got out of there alive. I need to know where you got that tape from and who your source is. Reporters don't reveal their sources, Chuck. That's privileged information. Privileged my ass. That wasn't me on the tape. I'm being set up. Hmm. Why should I believe you? You don't have to. But you want the big story, right? Help me out and I'll give you an interview. With the prime suspect? It has to be an exclusive. Sure. Doesn't matter to me. I can't tell you my source. But there is a central security room. There'll be footage of everything that happened there. I can show you where it is. Well, that's a start at least. Aren't we gonna need your crew? Hmm. They ran off with all the equipment. I guess they just didn't want it bad enough. Oh my gosh, more progression. Now we need to follow Rebecca Chang into the Fortune City Hotel, which is still under construction, by the way. <laughs> Insecurity. <laughs> Now, is that one of the puns in the in the uh, book you have, or is or are you just making a note that that's well, what this mission's called? I can I can certainly take a look. Uh. <laughs> they show you case one three and in parentheses get it. It just says case one three in security. Oh well, pff, forget it then. You gonna get the oh. skateboarding magazine? Eventually, yeah. If you can't get enough of skateboards, pick up the skateboarding magazine that rests on the coffee table in the hotel lobby. This Good increases Lord. the durability, blah, 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 blah. We, we prefer quick step juice drinks to get us where we're going, but skateboards can certainly help quicken the pace as well. It really says that? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Is that a Prima guide? Um, uh, let's see. Holy crap, Rebecca, jeez. I can't tell, because I just open it up, and it goes right to the contents, and I turn the page, and then, whoa, we're at the introduction. Yeah, it's prima. Oh, okay. I wonder if Capcom is just, like, reusing names. It's like, Rebecca Chang could be taken over to Rebecca Chambers, maybe? That's eh, probably nothing. When you play Rise of Seven, let me know if there's a guy named Chunk Gran. <laughs> we'll do oh god Rebecca I'm sorry or Fred Waste or something Fred Waste <laughs> what have you covered myself and all this food <laughs> I'm Fred Waste yeah it's two fat guys Chunk and Fred <laughs> yeah, oh we're, shit we're traveling food merchants and uh <clears throat> And by, and by food merchants, I mean we eat it all. <laughs> Isn't that right, Fred? We have one of everything on your menu. <laughs> and a diet soda. <laughs> actually, I will have your real ginger ale. <laughs> it's got actual real sugar in it, so you don't crave it later. <laughs> He's doing that to put salt on my fries and try to rock my way. Damn it! Better get used to that view, Chuck. Cute. I hope I don't have to do everything for you. 
Well, what are you waiting for? Just checking out the view. I think the Blanca cry would have been a much smoother move. Can we get a redub of that scene with the Blanca cry? <laughs> Consider it done. All right. <laughs> well, I mean, Chuck does need a new mom, right, for Katie? So, I mean, Chuck this is the first woman he's, who has ever bothered to actually look in his direction, even <laughs> talk to him. So maybe this reporter lady is the one. She's into cosplay, so... <laughs> Rebecca! Rebecca! Wait, wrong game. Or is it? Is the Resident Evil universe and the Dead Rising universe, are they all intertwined? Well, I don't know. I haven't played Resident 7 yet. It, hmm. yeah, it's kind of funny. By the time this episode comes out, I will have played and probably beaten Resident Evil 7. So we'll have to see if it's actually good or not. Uh, hey, future Niskel, is it any good? Here, let me try. Don't bother. It's locked. You've got some interesting skills for a reporter. No one ever got an award playing by the rules, Chuck. Wow, looks like somebody didn't like the show much. Damn it! There's nothing here that we can use. Everything's been destroyed. Chuck, check this out. No zombie did that. There might not be anything here to clear your name, but it definitely proves someone's covering up what really happened. You believe me now? Let's just say I'm intrigued. Chuck, you need to get back to the bunker now. What is it? What's wrong? It's Sullivan. He saw you on the TV. You better get back here. He's threatening to kick Katie out. I'm on my way. Wait, who is that? Stacy. Forsyth. The leader of Cure? I guess. I'll meet you there. Oh, this just gets better and better. <laughs> <laughs> 